Good evening. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Eddie Muller, coming to you from the Grand Lake Theater in Oakland, California. Tonight, a pair of crime dramas where jazz takes center stage, underscoring the desperate lives of lonely hearts roaming desolate streets and dangerous clubs in the dead of night. First up, released by Warner Brothers in 1955, is Pete Kelly's Blues. It's set in Kansas City, Missouri, during the height of Prohibition. Jack Webb, who also produced and directed, plays the title character. Pete Kelly is a cornet player whose Big Seven band headlines at a speakeasy serving up hot jazz and watered down whiskey. A racketeer played by Edmund O'Brien takes a sudden interest in managing the band, mainly to cut himself in on their nightly action. He also wants the band to take on his troubled alcoholic gal pal as their new vocalist. She's played by singer Peggy Lee in an Oscar nominated performance. The cast also includes Janet Lee, Andy Devine, Lee Marvin, and legendary jazz vocalist Ella Fitzgerald. Now, Kansas City may not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of American cities synonymous with jazz. The music may not have been born there, but Kansas City was a crucible for its evolution. The town was wide open during Prohibition. Bootlegging, crime, and jazz clubs all thrived thanks to the city's lax enforcement of the ban on booze. Mixing the sounds of Dixieland, Big Band, and New Orleans-style combos, Kansas City jazz became known for its looser, more relaxed feeling compared to the edgier sounds coming out of Chicago and New York. Things really started cooking when Count Basie joined Benny Moten's Kansas City Orchestra in 1929 and launched jazz into the swing era. A few years later, saxophonist Charlie Parker, born across the river in Kansas City, Kansas, pioneered bebop in Kansas City jazz joints. Tonight's feature, shot in Cinemascope and Warner Color, is jazz lover Jack Webb's tribute to the era and its sound. Here is Pete Kelly's Blues. When you think of Jack Webb, you probably think of stiff as a board, just the facts, ma'am, Detective Joe Friday of Dragnet fame. As unlikely as it may seem, Webb was a lifelong jazz fanatic. His interest in the music inspired him to first develop Pete Kelly's blues as a radio drama in 1951. The film version came four years later, and in 1959, Webb recycled the Pete Kelly radio scripts for a short live TV version. In the late 1940s and early 50s, Webb was married to actress Julie London, a popular torch singer known for her smoky style and sexy LP covers. In 1958, Webb himself recorded a bizarre album of standards for Warner Brothers, You're My Girl. He more or less talked his way through chestnuts like Try a Little Tenderness and Nancy with the Laughing Face. London and Webb split in 1953, and she later married jazz pianist Bobby Troop, writer of the immortal tune Route 66. Apparently, there were no hard feelings between the husbands. Both Troop and London later co-starred on the hit TV series Emergency, which was produced by Jack Webb. Coming up, jazz sets the tone for a dark drama about desperate men whose racism threatens to sink an elaborate heist. <laughs> 